What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Today, fellas, I want to showcase a woman here in the West who is devastated, distraught, dejected about the fact that she's going to have to lower her preposterous standards in order to get the relationship that she professes that she wants. Now, when you see this woman, you know what? You're going to get right into it. No spoilers. Roll the clip. So I've come to the fact that I'm probably never, ever going to be in a relationship um, in my life without me having to lower my standards to the pits of hell. I don't say this to look for pity or for comments to be like, oh, the person for you is coming. Just wait. Ugh. I've just come to accept it. Like, at this point, I'm pretty sure it's facts. Now, how out of touch with something as simple as a reflective surface do you have to be? to look like this woman and think that what it is you actually qualify for is beneath you for some reason. Imagine being force fed a steady diet of vaginal Marxism, AKA ethanism since kindergarten. Imagine being well over 100 pounds heavier than what your skeletal structure was ever designed to carry and thinking that in order for you to get the relationship you in your mind's eye see, it's going to require you to so-called settle. Imagine being that far gone mentally. Imagine being that defective in between both of your ears. But this is not uncommon, fellas. This is the mindset that women far more attractive than she is also has. The catch is... They can somewhat justify it. But tell that to Big Shirley here. Tell her that she's shooting way outside of even her sizable weight class for what it is she expects. But she wasn't done. Load a clip. What I'm mourning or I guess what I'm yearning for is the kind of love that, you know, I hear in music or um, that I watch in TV or that I read in books. Like that kind of love that people seem to have experienced. Where are her friends? Where are her true loving family members to tell her that the Bridget Jones Diary, the Notebook, the Hallmark Channel, songs on the radio, these are all fictitious. They're not real. Oh my God. Or even the kind of love that my friends tell me about, you know, when they tell me about, you know, the dates that they go on or something that their partner did for them. How do your friends look? How much do they weigh? Are they respectful to their partners? Do they see themselves as above them and therefore settling for these men who they're partnered up with? Or are they grateful? You haven't asked those questions. All of this love is all around me, you know, um, but I, I can't seem to grasp it, if that makes sense. And it's sad because I think it's one feeling um, that I won't ever be able to relate to or experience. So, yeah, I've just been thinking about that recently. What we have here, gentlemen, is yet another Western woman who has absolutely no idea her true value on the sexual marketplace. This is a woman who has been told for decades at this point that she's just the best thing since sliced bread met peanut butter and jelly. That she has no room for improvement. That she's absolutely flawless in every single possible way, just the way she is. And in fact, she's so flawless that any man who would come near her or want to be a part of her life needs to adjust himself to accommodate himself to her. It's remarkable the lack of self-awareness these modern women have. It's amazing that they don't see the inherent flaws and the stumbling blocks they place in their own way. Now, I don't know this woman personally, but I do know that if she's like any other Western woman, any other modern-minded woman, she probably has social media. And in that social media, she's got a mountain of simps just waiting to wine her, dine her, take her here, take her there, take her everywhere and do whatever they want. Because these guys don't understand their own value. And these are the kind of guys who often date women in her weight class because they can't do any better. 
And so, because they can't do any better, they're going to give it their all. This is a guy who would devote himself to her tirelessly. Go out and work. Try to build a future for them. Try to be the best man that he can. And a lot of times, these guys are good guys. They just haven't had much luck with women, which is why they date big girls in the first place. So, she wouldn't see it that way. To say that you would lower your standards to the pits of hell. For a woman that looks like this, to say... She would have to lower her standards to the depths of hell to get a good man is a slap in the face to the 57 plus percent of black men here in America who don't even have children. And therefore aren't bringing baby mama drama into the relationship. Who would give her all that he had. And the entire time she's with him, she looked down on him. Talk to him and treat him like shit. Simply because she thinks she's better than him. This is the kind of woman who'd rather die alone and humble herself. Accept her actual position on the SNV and work with a man. No. She thinks that if she's not getting the exact same kind of guys that the Victoria's Secret Angels could get, that somehow she's getting a lesser product. Stay away from these women, fellas. Stay away from them. You can do bad all by yourself, as they say. But unlike Free Willy here, you have the option to go overseas and get a woman one-third her weight class who's far better behaved and a lot more willing to cooperate. So that's an option you may want to look into, given the opportunity. That said, fellas, that's my time. Like the video? Comment down below. Share this video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Till next time.